Good morning students. Today we will be continuing with our English 2 that is fragrance textbook. Now in the last class I have already explained chapter number 10 Tina's library book. We have done the reading and you have also completed the notes in the notebook. So today we will start with the grammar part. Now see in this the grammar part is the revision of what grammar we are doing in the English 1 grammar textbook. Okay. So the, the topic in this chapter is doing words. Now what are doing words? A word that tells what a person, animal or thing does is called a doing word. Now what is a doing word? What tells that what a person, animal or thing is doing. That is action words. This word show us the action. Okay. Now see Ina goes to the library. So here goes is a doing word because that is the action Ina is doing. Now see Look at the pictures and match the correct doing words. See these pictures and you have to match it. Okay. See the first one. What is this boy doing? This boy is drinking water. So, we will match with drink. Okay. Then, see the second picture. What is this boy doing? He is eating ice cream. So, we will match with eat. Then, number three. What is this girl doing? This girl is jumping. So, we will match with jump. Okay. And, see number four. What is this girl doing? This girl is singing. So, we will match with sing. And number 5, what is this boy doing? He is washing his hands. So, we will wash, uh, join with wash. See, you can take it like this also. So, you don't get confused, okay? Here the alphabets are not given for matching. So, you can match like this. Okay, now let us see the next question. Okay, this is the next chapter in uh, grammar. What we have done related to? Uh, doing words. Now, sounds animals make. I have already explained that when we talk, see we can talk. We have different words with which we can talk to each other. But animals cannot talk. They, they cannot speak words. So, when they want to tell something, they have their different sounds. So, the sounds that animals make are also doing words. Right? A dog barks. What is the sound of a dog? He barks. A, do a lion roars. What sound does a lion make? Roars. Okay. So now here you have to match the animals with their sounds. Okay. See students, this you have already done in your grammar textbook. It is the same uh, question. So, this you do by yourself, okay? Revise that chapter of your grammar textbook. Now, let us move with the next topic. Simple present tense. Now, what are what is a simple present tense? First, let us read this uh, sentences, okay? My father reads the newspaper daily. I go to school by bus. I play in the park in the evening. Now see these words, they are highlighted. Okay, they are made bold. See these words, the highlighted doing words tell us about things that we do every day or often. Highlighted जो ये doing words है, वो हमें क्या बताते हैं? It tells us about the things जो हम 
रोज करते हैं या फिर ऑफन ऑफन मीन्स रेग्यूलरली रिपीटेडली ये चीजें हम करते हैं ओके नाउ रिमेम्बर वी एड एस और ई एस टू द डूइंग वर्ड वेन वी यूज देम विथ ही शी इट एंड सिंग्यूलर नाउन्स example he goes to the school by bus so whenever we use with uh, he or she or it that is singular nouns now i have already explained what is singular and plural singular means when we are talking about one person or one thing but when we are talking about more than one or about a group then that will become plural so with singular nouns like he she it we will use s or es words like see here one one is i am talking about myself so it will be i go to school by bus but when i am talking about some other person only one person agar main kisi ek person ki baat kar rahi hu to main kya bolungi he goes to school by bus okay we will add es if the word is ending with o we will add es remember the chapter jo humne grammar mein kiya hai uh, one and more than one so, usme bhi jab koi word o se end hota tha to we would add es so he goes to school by bus and we do not add s or es to the doing words when we use them with i or plural nouns i means main mere bare mein baat kar rahi hu ya fir main plural matlab bahut sare logo ke bare mein baat kar rahi hu agar main bataungi we we means hum sab we go to school by bus agar main zyada logo ke bare mein baat kar rahi hu तो मैं एंड में एस या ई एस नहीं लगाऊंगी ओके आई विल यूज गो ओनली सी हियर आई गो टू स्कूल बाय बस आई में भी मैंने गो ही यूज किया उसमें ई एस मैंने नहीं लगाया एंड वी वी मीन्स हम सब इट इज मोर देन वन इट इज प्लूरल सो वी गो टू स्कूल बाय बस इसमें भी मैंने एस या ई एस नहीं लगाया okay okay so similarly it is the exercise we have to do the fill in the blanks see the first one ravi dash to school every day walk ya yeah, walks now see singular hai only one person is there so humko s ya yeah, es add karna hoga to which is the word with s walks ravi walks to school every day yes then number 2 we dash in the evening every day now we is plural we means hum sab to uske sath hame s ya es add nahi karna hai we play in the evening every day so right here play okay then number 3 i dash my dog for a walk in the morning i i be usme bhi humko s ya es add nahi karna hai take i take my dog for a walk in the morning then she she is a singular noun when we are talking about one person we will add s she bakes a delicious cake so write over here bakes then grandma grandma dash me stories at night every day grandma is also a singular noun so we will add s grandma tells me stories at night every day understood students then let us see okay the, these are reading words from board okay so this you can just uh, practice reading and okay this you can leave for now
because this is the story which we will do i think it is chapter number 12 or 13 which we will do afterwards so that uh, this should not be done right now okay yes now learn new words okay so here what we have to do we have to match the given words with their meanings lovely what is the meaning of lovely it is beautiful yes then what is the meaning of tiny tiny means very small then hurries hurries means kuch jaldi karna does quickly then near near means close nazdik me so match it over here okay so match this one okay then let us see the next page okay this is a story look at the pictures and fill in the blanks with the help of words given in the box to complete the story now see these pictures are given and here the blanks are given and in the help box the words are given so we have to fill in the blanks with these words and we have to complete the story okay now see this story you all know this story okay this is the story of a thirsty crow a crow is very thirsty see here yes then number 2 is he finds a what does he find he finds a pot so right over here okay the pot has very little see this what is very little the pot has very little water so right over here water okay then number 4 the crow finds a pile of dash near the pot what does he find he find the see this pile of stones so right over here stones he thinks of a plan what plan he thinks he dash up the stones one by one and put them in the pot what does he do he picks up the stones one by one so we will write over here he picks up okay then number 7 soon the water comes up to the top soon the water comes up to the top then number 8 the crow dash the water the crow drinks the water so right over here drinks okay and number 5 he is very what he what he feels he is very happy so right over here happy okay now we have completed the story with the blank now we have to give the name to the story what name we will give the, to the story this is the thirsty crow so right over here the thirsty crow okay so we have completed this a uh, part grammar part of this chapter complete it in your textbook and then we will continue in the next class